everybody, how's it going? My name's Jody, and we have Steve here today, and we're gonna do a little uh, interesting video here today, right Steve? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, the other day we were at a flea market and we came across some Fortnite cards, but they, uh, they seem a little sus, and our suspicions were right. We have found some weird bootleg Fortnite cards. Now, what was interesting though, Steve, is you did like some research trying to find different bootleg Fortnite cards and you couldn't find these anywhere. So there's no documented video of them. There's no photos. Like where all did you look? Just basically everywhere. Try to look through like the usual suspects, you know, your AliExpress and you know, China marketplaces. And Cause yeah, typically if there's something sus, it's, it's gonna, be, it's gonna come out from there, right? I didn't see anything, you know, just like generically kind of trying to Google for them. Now, as you can see, these were two dollars each. Actually, I got them three packs for five dollars, so I spent about twenty bucks. Cause I was like, we're very new into dabbling in Fortnite. Like we're very proficient when it comes to Pokemon stuff, but the Fortnite dabbles a little new. And I was looking at these, I'm like, they don't say a series on them. Like, does that mean series one? I'm like. Well, worst case, if they're fake, we can do what we're doing now, which is a video to advise you guys as to what these look like and what to watch out for. Um, I guess, what what would you say was the main thing? It, like these crimps here, like they're all jagged and the feel of them's not really great, right? Yeah, like they, they just feel a little cheap. The mm -hmm. wrappers and the fact that it doesn't say uh, you know, Panini, which is like the license. Yeah, so, that's what I was gonna get to as well. As you can see on the back here, it says uh, Michael's Card Home as the distributor, creator. Oh, yeah. Or... And then we, we have a real pack of Fortnite here for comparison. So this is a series three. And yeah, on the back, you'll wanna be looking for Panini right here, which is what Steve's talked about, Epic Games. Again, nowhere on the back of these does it say that anywhere. So there is your first clue that you're getting something a little sus. Um, again, it doesn't say series one, series three, just, just Fortnite. We got, see, we do have a bunch of different pack art, which I thought was interesting though. I figured for a bootleg, they might try to cut corners and just do all the same art on them. Which is funny, because that's usually what the originals do. Is they, they have all the same art. Another thing too, they felt very thin, you know? Like these packs here, they got some thickness to them. They're very sturdy. These are a little more, more flimsy on them. But I opened up a pack to test out because like I said, we had our, our suspicions. So we opened this guy here. Again, it's very, very flimsy wrapping. And this is what we got out of them. So first off, the print, the hollow print, the Starburst print, Steve here, you were saying that that has been very similar to what you've seen on fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, so clearly whatever place is making these counterfeits have been added a long time. Because yeah. like I remember even 10 years ago, uh, a bunch of different bootleg cards mm -hmm. coming with the same same uh, Starburst stock. yeah and the same print. like yeah. probably size and stock and yeah and that's another thing is the size of the cards as soon as I opened them I knew right away because this look at this size compared to this size here obviously ooh 69 too nice nice Nice. Obviously right there is a huge giveaway. You can just tell. I was saying that these bootleg cards remind me of back in the day when you would play Guess Who and you had to pick out a card to see who you were supposed to be. That's what these remind me of. Then you'd fit them in your board. You said, I know, it's David. I win. Yes, yes, it's the cards do not actually talk. Also too, another difference is they don't say the character name on them anywhere. Also, regular Fortnite cards, they're double-sided here. So you got that. This one has that on the front and then Fortnite on the back. Also, another big giveaway, uh, it's written in Spanish. So not in English there, which is interesting because the back of the pack, it's all in English, right? All this stuff here explaining what Fortnite is, all that is in English. And then inside the packs, you got Spanish. So no character name, Spanish print, starburst pattern, not double-sided, and again, very, 
very flimsy, you know? But I thought we'd just go through these anyways. I'm, I I want to find a Peely in it. We'll go through them anyways, see what we got. So we got these guys here. And they all look exactly the same. I'm curious to see if there will be a hollow print. Oh, also this too was interesting as I was opening it. There is like text in the back which almost looks like you said like a really bad photoshop job where they they found this image but they couldn't get the text in the back off so they're like oh well we'll just slap the fortnite logo over top and then like this and nobody will notice it, it's good enough kind of thing that one has it again here and we got that there so let's just blitz through these again i mainly wanted to do this to showcase that these cards are out there because we did find a video on youtube of bootleg cards being opened but they were not these ones yeah, so no, you know what? I, I might even link that video down below it was the only reference we could find of fake fortnite cards oh we got like a jason Voorhees kind of looking guy this guy looks like he's just from the sims <laughs> like <laughs> We got a mummy. And again, it sucks because I don't know the names of like half of these. That is a really interesting looking fake. And then, is that maybe kind of hollow? That Starburst uh, looks a little yeah. more rainbowy. Probably. So maybe that's what a fake hollow is. Well, that's rainbowy too. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if these are hollow or not. Fake either way. Either way, it's fake. And the fact that I can't tell if something is supposed to be like a cool hollow or not, even further goes to show the quality of the the fakeness, you know? Yeah. Maybe you'll get a, a Peely. Maybe. I, if I get a bootleg Peely, that'll be, that is like super low res. <laughs> Come on, bootleg. And they, they feel like they stick together, too. Yeah, the real ones stick a bit, though, too. Do they? Well, look at this guy's. This is Planet of the Apes here. Yeah, but these ones... They stick worse. Yeah. Like, this one feels very thick compared to the other ones. I almost thought there was two cards stuck together. But I don't think there is. But, yeah, guys, if you see... Fortnite cards at a flea market and they're super cheaply priced, you'll probably get these guys. These treasures. These treasures here. Again, we'll just blitz through them. I've seen most of some of these before. Like a card of the back of a character. It's just kind of interesting, you know? I haven't seen any characters really that are super standouts to be like, oh my god, yeah, that's like Fortnite Peely, that's Fish Sticks, that's... You'd think that they would want to put that in the different like set. You would think, yeah, but I think, again, this is just a really lazily made set to kind of profit on the Fortnite hype, you know? Also, like the regular Fortnite cards, they usually will have um item cards so like your pickaxes and different skins this just seems like it's a bunch of pictures of characters with spanish ability and attack numbers and they said good good job for the day <laughs> job well done looks like we got a jonesy there is that keanu reeves nice <laughs> Okay, we got the panda. At least that's kind of a well-known Fortnite character. Although also too, like, I'm very... I don't want to say I'm new to Fortnite, but I've only been dabbling in Fortnite for about a year or so. So I've, I've missed very early on Fortnite. So if I don't know all these earlier characters, that's why. Yeah, who knows how long they've been saying there. Exactly, who knows? I don't even know when these came out. Because, again, the only bootleg Fortnite video we found, uh, like I said, it was different cards, and it was posted about three years ago. So these could be even older. These could be newer. I don't know. But, again, you got that text back there that they're trying to hide. Again, really bad photo up there at the top, too. 
It's almost like they were screenshots from the game that people have put in, you know? I haven't seen anything that is like obviously hollow or a hit in these. Yeah. Quality. Look at this. This says, it's supposed to say Fortnite, but it's cut off. Again, it's just like an image that they found either took a screenshot in game or on the internet, slapped it on a card, put some hollow, and you know, job well done. <laughs> Oh, we got a llama. That's kind of cool. Beetlejuice looking characters. Another Jason. So I think um, these are pretty much maybe going to end up being fire starters. <laughs> not the treasures. That... They're not the treasures that I had hoped, but. Okay, we got that one again. More text up at the top. That's great. I'm really... I was hoping we would get something like a Peely or a Fish Sticks. But again, it's all just... Oh, look at this pack. This pack isn't even sealed. Great. Look at that guy right there. <laughs> There's the quality. Quality control. That again, again, you got that text up at the top. And I would think that we have enough of, we got, a, I had 12 packs altogether of this. One that I had previously opened just to do the bootleg test. But um, you would think there would be if there was hits in the amount that we purchased, we would have got one, you know? Nope. Yeah, well, the thing too with the bootleg set is there's a pretty fair chance that there's only this is the last one here. a handful of cards that I just even bothered to make. Like, here, we made these 30 cards. Yeah, we'll just put them. And another thing that I'm noticing is there's no real order to these. It's not like... Like, I can open a pack and have a card at the front, and then also find it at the back in another pack. It's not like, okay, the back is your rare your slot. rare slot, and this is like your commons or anything. They're all just kind of spread wherever. That's another screenshot that they've obviously just cropped out the last two characters, because you can see one right there on the side. There, This is probably like the continue. It is, look! That's that guy's arm right there. <laughs> it was all just one big like photo and they've cut it up into different sections and they made multiple cards out of it isn't that hilarious <laughs> I thought these were gonna be two back to back of the same thing I think that was the last one there but you know what I think we should do to um, at least make this somewhat worthwhile other than spreading the knowledge of these fakes why don't we open a real pack just to see, feel the difference and the real joy of an actual pack of Fortnite. So again, guys, you're going to be looking for the Panini branding right here, the Epic Games. Don't, as soon as you see Michael's card home, Run. put it back. Unless, of course, here's the thing, unless, of course, there's some people out there who might want to collect fakes. But they're not, they're not it, guys. They're not it. They're not even like good fakes, you know? So here we go. Here is the real deal. I don't think there's a, I don't know if there's a card trick to these. Uh, bubble flange, rare wrap. And then on the back we got blue shock rare wrap. See again, the fake ones, they didn't have any accessories in them. Like the, the real cards do. Got some harvesting tools, propeller ax. I think this is a card I got already before. The prickly axe. Ooh, we got the bunny brawler dark. Again, these ones, they actually tell you what the character is, the rarity of the card and the outfit. And then there's the bunny brawler full art on the back. Uh, we got wingtip rare outfit and then wingtip on the back. 
Diamond Diva rare outfit. It's kind of cool right there. And then we got Ice Stalker. So no hollow in this one. We got a hollow in the last, the very first one that we opened, which was kind of cool. It's hard to see that hollow pick up on camera, but definitely a hollow there. But yeah, guys, I guess um, lesson learned. You want these guys rather than this poop. <laughs> I think Steve is right. I think they have like maybe 30 different arts that they put in here and cheaply threw together. Started selling them as booster box. So, you know, when uh, little Timmy says to grandma he wants Fortnite cards for his birthday, this might be what, uh, what grandma picks up. And a little disappointing, but I guess buyer beware. Yep. <laughs> and at least now uh, we got these documented on the market. So if you guys come across these, now you know. So guys, avoid these cards at all costs. Don't fall for the scam. Make sure you're getting the real deal here. And if you found this video helpful in any way, make sure to subscribe and remember that I do stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday over at twitch.tv slash Gaming. Thanks guys.